The last section that we've got here down in the navigation bar at the bottom is this calculator. In the calculator itself you have three primary options um, for calculators. You have flow, delta P and valve coefficient or KV or CV. You have power delta T and you also have this one here which is a settings function for the valve. So this is predetermining a setting for the valve. Perhaps it's a, a PIBCV such as TA modulator or indeed an STAD valve where you need a presetting for a specific pressure drop. So if we look back here firstly at this flow valve coefficient delta P1. If you're looking for something specific, either flow, valve coefficient or delta P, you first just need to tap on what you're looking for. So if for instance we're looking to calculate a pressure drop given a specific KV of a valve and a flow rate, the flow rate itself you can edit in and when you edit in uh, the flow rate it will be um, transferred through the different functions of the app. So if for instance in this instance we're going to select 3000 litres per hour and we move through to a valve selection point you'll see that that 3000 litres or indeed the delta P that we are calculating it is carried through into the next section uh, that you might want to use it in. So it's you don't have to remember what you've calculated it will be carried through into the next into the valve selection perhaps and let's say we've got a kv here of just 10 so what we've got here is a pressure drop of around 9 kpa so it's simply pre-calculated if we wanted to select a valve coefficient and we decided we wanted a higher pressure drop so perhaps say we were looking for 20 kpa you can see here that this has changed and we're now looking for, we should be trying to select a valve with a KV of around 6.7. Really quick way of um, doing flow KV delta P calculations. The second one here is flow power and delta T. So look, we've carried through our 3000 liters per hour here. If we're working at a specific delta T, let's assume that we've got a heating system here and we're working at 20 degrees Kelvin then we're calculating here around 70 kilowatts of, uh, of heat output. So the third section we've got here is this flow setting and delta P component of the calculator. This simply allows us to uh, predetermine what the setting is going to be on a given valve. Um, so particularly so for variable orifice type valves where you're looking to try and predetermine what the setting might be at a given pressure drop for a given flow rate. So you can see here the calculators pulled through our 3000 litres per hour that we had in our previous calculation and also our 20 kPa that we had in our delta P selection. Um, so at the moment we're looking here and we can determine down here what our valve type is. At the moment it's showing us that we have an STAD star. Uh, that STAD star is a DN50 version. So it's determining here that this valve setting should be 1.49 uh, for 20 kPa. Now let's say for instance we want um, just 3 kPa, perhaps this is our index valve and we want to determine what the presetting should be. So if we change that to 3 kPa, the presetting for the valve should be 2.64, so 2.64 turns out of 4 in this instance, which is the maximum number of turns you can have on an STAD. Um, if you were to um, put in something that was too much, you might see this error flash up down here. It's, it's not an error, I guess it's, a, it's a, a warning. In this instance, the delta P at the maximum setting of the valve, which happens to be four turns in this instance, would be 38 kPa. So what we're really seeing here is our, our valve is massively undersized and we can see this warning will disappear if we then were to um, select the valve of a, a bigger size. So here we go, we can see now that we've selected a valve for 3 kPa still, but the setting is almost fully open here at 7.65 turns of 8. Um, so a much more aptly sized and you can see that this warning has now disappeared from, from here.